Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to review about Flexil versus Note Shelf. Both are really amazing handwriting and note taking apps. I open them in the split screen mode. So in the first part I will discuss about the features of Flexil that Note Shelf don't have and in the second part I will discuss about the Note Shelf unique features. So the first thing that Flexil is giving you, it gives you the ability to extract the text from a PDF file so I will show you how so for example uh, you open a PDF file in the Flexil so you can see over here it's a PDF file and now I want to extract some of the text from uh, this PDF so the first thing what I have to do I select this gesture mode okay so this is a gesture mode and then the second thing I have to open a pop-up document okay just select this one okay so a new document is open over here now simply what I have to do for example I select uh, this uh, text okay so I just use your S Pen and then I just simply highlight the text okay and then simply I have to move it into this pop-up document I simply grab it like this and then you can see I'm putting it over here Okay, so now you can see over here the text into this pop-up document. I will make it bigger. Okay, so you can see over here the text that I highlighted from the PDF. I put it over here and then I can do whatever I want. Uh, I can edit it. Okay, I can highlight it. Okay, you can see over here. So this is an amazing thing uh, that Flexil is giving you. So the next thing is uh, in the Flexil, you can easily export your file into the uh, editable and non-editable uh, PDF. So simply, uh, you have to go over here, okay, and then you select any file. For example, I select this note, okay, and then you select this share option. So it gives you flatten and original PDF option. But in Note Shell, it gives you only uh, the non-editable PDF option so in that way flexil is amazing the next feature in flexil is the ink opacity option in highlighter so for example uh, you write here anything okay you write here uh, you can take lectures okay and then for example uh, you want to highlight so if you select this highlighter option it gives you the ink opacity option so whatever opacity you want you can do it for example I select the full okay and I select this green color okay so you can see over here and then if you want to reduce the opacity so I will take it to the uh, 61 percent and then you can see over here so there is a different opacity ink opacity option so for example I make it very low so you can see over here so uh, there is a lot of uh, opacity option in the uh, flexil so the next thing that flexil is giving you is the uh, you can use the gesture mode uh, to erase anything for example if I want to erase something for example I want to erase I just put it this line like that okay and then it will erase for me and for example I want to erase this one so I can do it so this is really amazing the next thing uh, that uh, Flexil is giving you about uh, is its eraser so if I go to eraser option so I select this eraser so it gives me uh, two different options pen erasing or highlighter erasing so for example I disable the pen and I only enable the highlighter so it will only erase the highlighter okay so for example I select this time the I will do the opposite I will enable the pen and I will disable the highlighter so for example I select from here so you can see over here the highlighter is still there but it will erase only the pen but in note shelf there is uh, no such uh, option exists so now I will show you the features of note shell so the very first feature is it gives you a lot of option of page templates and notebooks so simply uh, for example I go over here select new notebook and then I select this chain template and then I go down free downloads so you can see over here it gives you the note shelf club option so you have here a lot of uh, page templates and book covers option according to the student you can see productivity finance travel so a lot of options available and then same for the uh, page template so for example uh, I select this chain template option 
okay and then if you go down okay you see this free downloads and then it will take you to the notion club where you have a lot of options okay so you can see basic papers the planners okay educational professional so a lot of pay templates options so for example uh, i go here and i select uh, this uh, finance okay so you see over here there are different page options so i select this one and i create notebook okay and i open it so you can see over here so this is according to the finance you can see over here uh, it is pretty organized so this is really amazing uh, in terms of note shelf so the next feature uh, is the ability of note shell uh, you can open it in multiple windows i will show you how so for example uh, you open uh, this file okay i open in the uh, split screen okay and you open uh, this uh, pdf file in the note shelf okay so i will open so you can see over here there are two uh, note shelf open okay and you can uh, easily edit it okay you can write anything over here okay you can use the highlighter so you can work in both of the uh, apps both of the note shelf at same time okay. next feature about note shelf is you can export uh, your uh, notes into the pdf or png format so you can see over here but in the uh, flexel only pdf format is available and the next feature that i am going to share with you is the selection tool so for example uh, i write here anything okay and then uh, i want to select it i use this selection tool okay and then you can see over here it is giving me a lot of options so the screenshot you can cut you can copy you can delete resize you can change the color for example i want to change the color i select this color option and then for example i want to make it green so you can see over here it turn it into the green so you can do this one and the next feature is if you want to convert your handwriting into the text simply use again this selection tool select it and then you see this two text okay so i just select it and then you can see over here it converted my handwriting into the text so this is uh, really really amazing so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much